Hi you guys, how are you all? I hope you're doing well. It is finally time to talk about Laurel Skin. I know this video has been such a long time coming and I'm so excited to finally be sitting here talking to you guys about it. It is a skincare brand that I discovered a while ago and I'm sort of on my second round of products from them and I feel pretty confident in sharing my opinion of it with you guys um, what I think what I like what I would recommend now I am not a skincare professional so I always think it's really important to know your own skin or go to a professional before trying products so I'm just kind of giving my opinion of them and how they worked for me and if you have maybe a similar skin type and you know that then you can check out some of the products that I would recommend. I also think the Laurel Skin website does a really good job of providing literature with all of their products to let you know what skin types the products will be good for, what exactly it will be doing, so I highly encourage you to check out their website. I will be linking that down below. But this is sort of like a skincare routine slash review video so I'm going to be showing you guys the products, how I use them, talking a little bit about them, talking about the brand brand in general. Um, and just to start off really quick, my skin type, for those of you who don't know or might be new to my channel, it's sort of a tricky skin type. It's a somewhat of a combination skin type that airs on the side of oilier, but I do have a tendency to be a bit dehydrated so that oil can kind of cause breakouts and um, a lot of texture underneath my skin because I have a little bit of stagnation which basically just means things aren't moving particularly easily in my skin so they get kind of caught underneath the surface and that causes a lot of texture which is super frustrating so I'm always on the hunt to find a skincare brand that will work for me and really make a difference and I know I've sort of spoiled the reveal already in favorites videos and mentioning Laurel Skin before but Laurel Skin is a line that has worked super well for me so far. It was a line that I had heard about and I had seen Laurel herself, the founder, speak at an event that I went to and I was always curious about it but I was really introduced to it when I went to Sacred Facials which is run by Megan. I have a whole video with her all about skincare, how to take care of your skin uh, which you guys can go check out. I will have it linked up here and when I went to go see her for a facial I ended up purchasing um, like a routine of Laurel skincare and I tried it and I just found that the results were really incredible so I'm excited to be sharing with you guys my thoughts because I know it is an expensive brand and I want to share with you guys what products I would keep on repurchasing and what products I feel like I could live without. I will say that I do think it's worth the price point. I know that it is expensive but I do think it's worth the price point. The results I've seen have been really fantastic and I think that's due to a combination of things which I will get into. Um, so first off why don't we just talk a little bit about the packaging. So the packaging has recently been updated for from Laurel Skin um, and so I'll share with you guys kind of the old packaging and the new packaging. There have been some tweaks to formulas but everything's very transparent on their website so you can go check out what has been changing. Um, so for example this is the facial cleanser that used to be the oily decombination skin and what it's now called is a support cleanser and cool relief. You can definitely see the packaging has obviously changed. It used to be sort of this like um, sticker label that was put on the bottle and now it's etched or printed on you can feel sort of the texture of the writing it's a much sleeker look and I feel like with the price point in mind this is more what I would expect packaging wise sort of minimal luxurious and so I definitely think it's an upgrade and I really really like the packaging all the containers themselves are a black glass which is great because it prevents light from getting in here although you still should be storing these in a cool relatively dark place the front just has sort of the basic information that you would expect in the back um, has directions, ingredients, and then a little note about how many whole organic plants are actually in this product. So that's an important note to point out that Laurel Skin is a 100% organic whole plant skincare line. So they're actually all free of water, alcohol, and fillers. Um, so what you see is what you get and all these ingredients are sourced with a lot of love and time and thought. That was one thing when I went to see Laurel speak at an event. Um, she talked a lot about sustainability and sourcing ingredients sustainably and they do a really incredible job of this. So back to the packaging, there is that little note about how long it will be good for. This is definitely skincare that you want to buy and use. You don't want to buy and let it sit on your shelf for a long time. All the packaging is recyclable and then the actual exterior packaging is optional when you purchase from their website. Now if you purchase from other retailers such as the detox market, they were kind enough to send me a few of these products and then I purchased a few 
myself. Um, the detox market is kind of where I buy a lot of my skincare from. So if you buy from them, it will come in these boxes, but if you buy from the Laurel website, then you have an option not to get the box. And I thought that was a really cool sustainability effort. The box is really beautiful because I do have the boxes. I wanted to share with you guys about the packaging. It's a really beautiful matte gray color and it has sort of this rose gold printed metallic ink on it that's just gorgeous and then on the sides of it it has imprints of some of the plants that they use which I thought was very cool and again on the back sort of all the same information directions how many plants are actually in it and all the ingredients uh, and kind of normal information that you would expect. So that's a little bit about the packaging. So let's hop into my routine and we'll talk a little bit more about the products. To start off with, I do a double cleanse, um, but what I use before I even start my Laurel skincare routine is the Pi Rosehip Oil Cleanser. Uh, you guys can see that I've used a lot of this. It's one of my favorite oil cleansers to kind of start off with. I just really love the texture and it turns into a real milk and it's easy to kind of get off your skin and it definitely helps dissolve all that makeup. So once all of my makeup's off, then I hop into my Laurel skincare routine and I start off by using the cleanser. Now all the products that I have are targeted for oily or congested skin. So just keep that in mind. So this cleanser is called the Support Cleanser Cool Relief. Um, and this is $56 and you get 3.3 fluid ounces. And this is sort of unlike any cleanser that I've tried before. You use it on damp skin. So it's kind of perfect after I've done that initial cleanse. My skin is damp and has a little bit of water residue left over. And then I apply this cleanser over the top. And it's a very liquidy cleanser. To me, it has a very strong citrus smell and it's a really beautiful, vibrant orange color. Um, and like I said, it's quite liquidy. So when you actually apply it to your skin, it glides very easily over your skin and you're able to really massage it in. And I definitely take my time in doing that with this step. I feel like the more you're able to massage it in, the better. And it doesn't necessarily sink in, but it's not something that you see foaming on your face. It's not something that gets kind of creamy. It just gives your skin this slip and you're able to kind of work with the product and work it in. And then when I'm actually ready to take it off, I take a clean fresh washcloth and I um, get some hot water onto it squeeze all that hot water out and then I just let the towel over my face for like a few seconds maybe once or twice and then I use that to wipe it off and you're kind of getting that exfoliating property of the towel as well as getting all the product off of your face after cleansing whether I'm gonna mask or not I always use the hydrating elixir. This is the hydrating elixir to support and recover. It says 25 whole organic plants in it and the elixir is $56. Now this is sort of like the Josh Rosebrook Hydration Accelerator uh, except it's a hydrosol which is a little bit different. I don't believe that the Josh Rosebrook one is a hydrosol. I think it uses other ingredients like aloe and water, but I'm not positive about that, so you'll have to correct me if I'm wrong. But this is a hydrosol, and so I spritz this all over my face. I probably do about like four to five sprays, um, and I let it sit on my skin. I don't actually tap it in because usually I'll be applying a product over the top of it. So I let it sit on my skin until it, my skin has absorbed some of it, and it's just like a dampness to my face, not any big particles. And then about twice a week I use a mask so this actually wasn't one of the days where I would use a mask so I'm just gonna show you guys kind of the texture of the mask and talk a little bit about it this is the enzymatic glow honey berry mask and this is $54 and has 15 whole organic actives primarily why I really wanted to use this was because it has honey in it which can be great for a lot of different reasons but one of them is helping um, sort of exfoliate your face and help with dark patches I get post inflammatory sort of acne marks after I have a pimple or a blemish. My skin gets quite pink for a long time even after the blemish is totally gone which is frustrating but that's why I've been using this. And so really really thick honey jam like formula. I absolutely love the smell of it. It smells like delicious, like you almost want to eat it. And I take a little spoon and I sort of mix it up and then I take about a, probably like a dime size, maybe a nickel size amount, a little bit less than a nickel. And I put it on my hands and I add a little bit of warm water to it and then massage it onto my face. And the water just helps to thin the formula a little bit and spread a little bit easier on your face. And I leave this on for about 
30 minutes and then I come back and once it's tacky on my face, a trick that Megan told me to do is just sort of tap your fingers over your skin like this really, really lightly. And because the mask is tacky, um, you'll get a little bit of massage added circulation to it um, and increase blood flow. So it's like a, a duo treatment. And then I do the same thing that I did with the cleanser. So I take a really warm, clean washcloth. I wring it out just so it's steamy and nice and warm and I place that over my face a few times and let the steam and the mask sort of dissolve a bit before I actually remove it with the washcloth. So after I mask, I would apply the hydrosol one more time. Again, this is the Support and Recover Hydrating Elixir 2. And then after that, I go in with a product that I didn't initially try when I first bought a skincare routine um, from Megan, but that the detox market was kind enough to send me. And this is the Deep Tranquility Unburdened Serum, and this is targeted at sort of congested, acne-prone skin. And this is where sort of the price point starts to take off um, for Laurel Skin. So this is actually $88 for one fluid ounce. Now you only need a few drops of this. This is a dropper system. Uh, it has 28 whole organic plants in it. And again, you need about two to five drops depending on where you put it. I put it all on my neck and my face so I use closer to three to four drops and I just apply the drops onto my hands I rub my hands together and then I really gently press it into my skin like I said taking it down my neck and under my jawline where I tend to get a little bit more congested um, I have quite hormonal skin so when I do break out it tends to be in this sort of area so I definitely concentrate it around there and then after the serum I finish up with this laurel day balm now this day balm I was told it was a equivalent to what I had originally bought, which was the Transform Daily Balm. So that's why I got the Day Balm. This is one of the most expensive. This is $96 for one fluid ounce. Again, you need just a tiny bit less than a pea size of this. It's a balm that you scoop out and just apply, like I said, a tiny amount to your hands. Uh, rub your hands together and then press it onto your face. Um, once I have this applied to my skin, my skin is pretty slick and that's when I go in actually with my gua sha tool. And I think that's an important thing to note that with this skincare, for whatever reason, I'm much more consistent with doing a gua sha routine at night uh, and it makes a huge difference in my skin. So I think that these products just work really well if you're interested in facial massage. They give you that right amount of slip. And I rarely use these products actually in the morning. In the morning I just kind of splash my face with cold water um, and I really just use the products at night. So I do like to take that time at night to really work with them and make sure that they're really penetrating my skin as deep as possible just because they are so expensive. So you want to make sure you're getting the most out of it. I don't think that this is skincare that you should expect to just be able to like slap on your face and something will happen. I think it is important to take your time with it. Honestly, I think it's important to take your time with any skincare, but that is something to note. So I am using my gua sha tool and that really helps to let the product sink into my skin because sometimes it can feel like it's just sitting on the surface a little bit and takes longer to absorb in. But if I use my gua sha tool, then I feel like my skin really drinks it up and then I'm pretty much good to go to bed. One thing I also forgot to mention about the packaging um, it's just that on the bottom of every package there is a sticker with the batch number and a use by date so that's something to keep in mind. So now let's talk a little bit about what I would recommend. So like I said I think that this line works really well for my skin so it's something that I would be willing to invest my money in however I don't have the budget to purchase a full skincare routine from Laurel Skin like this. Like I said I bought half of the products and the detox market was kind enough to send me a couple as well to sort of fill in. They are one of um, um, the few retailers that actually carries Laurel Skin that I purchased from. So right now my routine consists of five products and although for some people that might be a lot and for some people that might be a little, for me that's like a pretty good amount of products. But I do think that you could pare it down and just purchase a few products. One thing is although the serum is really nice to have and, and I'm really enjoying using it, I think it's a bonus product. When I originally purchased a skincare routine all I had was the cleanser, elixir, balm, and mask and that that was a great routine and worked perfectly for me. So I think the serum is kind of a bonus add if you have the money to spend on it 
um, spend on it. I, I really don't have anything negative to say about these products except that I think most people will find that they're a little bit heavy to be using during the day because I find that for me um, the skincare takes a little bit to sink in and that it's not something that one I would take the time to do in the morning and two uh, I think like makeup would sort of slip off of it if you're someone who wears makeup. But really that's my only complaint about these products. So as I was saying if you want to pare it down I would say that sort of the essentials to try out if you're wanting to try Laurel Skin is a cleanser, elixir, and some sort of balm or serum. Um, so three products, and that keeps your skincare routine really simple. A mask, I really, really like the Honey Berry Enzyme Mask. It's definitely up there and one of my favorite masks. However, I think there are other masks that potentially do the same thing. And on top of that, because honey is such a large ingredient in that mask, uh, you can make your own honey mask at home. You can look up a recipe uh, and buy really high quality either Manuka honey um, or just really high quality honey and make your own mask. So I think that, you know, three products is a great way to start off. Um, it's still rather expensive, even those three products, but if you are interested in Laurel skincare, that's a good way to start off. There's also little kits that they've put together for general skin concerns. So for example, there is an oily kit uh, and then like a dry or mature skin kit and you can buy those. And it's miniatures of a few different products so you have a routine already and that's $84 so that's an opportunity to actually try it see if you like it if you like it then purchase it one note that I think everyone should know and something that I learned from Megan in the video that I had mentioned said it takes about 28 days for your skin to actually get used to a product and for you to actually see results of a product so that's one hesitation about the small sample sizes I'm, I'm not sure if they'll last you 28 days they might if any Anyone has bought it before and knows uh, please let me know in the comments down below because I think that'd be helpful for people with all these products you really need such a small amount to get results so I would hope that that's about a 28 day supply but I'm not positive so that's just something to keep in mind I don't have anything negative to say about the skincare besides it is expensive and not accessible to everyone but I think there is a reason behind that I think that these ingredients are uh, pretty incredible. I think the thought put into all these products is pretty incredible And although this is a luxury line I still feel like I can put like my whole heart behind endorsing it just because it's worked so well for me I'd love to know if you guys have tried any of Laurel Skin um, If there are products that particularly stand out to you if you've tried, you know, using all the products together if you've tried using one product with um, products from another brand and how that's worked for you. So I think that would be super helpful um, for me and for other people. And I tried to do my best to get to everything. I really hope I didn't forget anything. I feel like I had so much to say and so it's sort of hard to know if I said it all. But overall, I would highly recommend checking out this line if it's in your price range. Again, I think starting off with a very simple routine is great for a lot of reasons, good for your wallet, and I actually think it's good for your skin to sort of minimize the amount of products you're putting onto it. Overall recommendation would be to try a cleanser, elixir, and balm or serum and sort of have that be your base to start with and then you can build off of that. Really enjoying these products. I want to say a huge thank you to the Detox Market for sending me a couple of them so that I could sort of have a complete routine and I want to say sorry to my bank account <laughs> for buying the other ones but you gotta do what you gotta do. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you found it helpful. If I can answer any other questions, let me know in the comments down below. If you end up purchasing anything, let me know in the comments. I will link down below all the products that I mentioned in this video, as well as the Detox Markets page where you can purchase Laurel Skin, as well as laurelskin.com. That way you guys can check out more information about everything. Uh, and yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was thorough and it's what you expected because I know a lot of you have been waiting a while to see it. Skincare reviews are always really tricky for me because I don't feel like I know enough about skincare or skin in general to give you guys advice. However, I can give you my own opinion and what has worked for me. So keep that in mind. Um, and I only talk about skincare products that I feel super passionate about for that reason as well. And yeah. Okay, guys, I think I've said plenty. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day or night or whenever you're watching this. Like I said, let me know in the comments down below if you have any more questions and I will see you guys next week. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.